Hello guys, it is the Orangutan. Yes, today we're gonna take a break from Black Pink. But we are gonna do something where we can create something. Uh, yes, we haven't done a game review in a while and I and I know a few of you want to look at one. So uh, today I bring to you something I actually got from Metro uh, for like three bucks. Um, Presenting Scrabble Dash. So basically this game is... Oh, it says one of the makers of Uno. I didn't know that. Uh, so basically, Scrabble Dash is actually a game where it's actually pretty easy to play. And and for ages 10 and over, 2 to 4 players. Fast fun. Uh, yep, of course, it's the family category. F-U-N. F-U-N, fun. We'll see if the game's really fun. Uh, so the game, the game is really fun, actually. I, I, I play it with my family. Um, typically, I do, but uh, I don't. Let me just unbox this real quick. Okay. So, um, so this uh, typically, you have three different decks of cards. You have vowel cards dash cards and consonant cards um dash cards are red you collect these to win the game basically you collect these to win the game the this kind of red cards i'll show you the different types of red cards later and here we have um our vowel cards our stack of vowel cards which are actually light green as you can see a more aqua aquamarine color and finally you have your consulate uh, consonant cards which are dark green so three different decks three different totally different or should i say not really different so how you play it is uh, typically like uno so typically like uno so you get seven cards to start, but since you have two decks of cards, vowels and consonants, you can't just take seven consonants or seven vowels. You, there's no guarantee you can make a word. So, uh, we will, uh, I mean, the rules are you take five, five of these, five consonant, and two vowel cards. So, yeah. So you get two and five each, and then this, this is the the cards, like I said, these are the cards you need to win the game. So basically how it works is there are different categories. Um, I'm going to explain all of them um, very specifically so that you guys can understand. So there are eight different types of dash cards that you can that are possible to get. So so we are gonna start with so we are eight types of dash cards to get it, and yep. So so there are eight types of dash cards, like I said. So first uh, is the two letter word, basically two letter word like. Like, I drew these cards, actually, from the the deck earlier. So, for example, I have, uh, I have these. I-U-S, I-U-D-S-D, C, and D. So, basically, if you can find a two-letter word in this, you put it down and you get that dash card. So, the two-letter word... That means you get that dash card. And the first person to five, <coughs> five dash cards wins the game. And also, and our rule here is that you cannot, uh, a rule, another rule that I like to omit is a house rule, basically. So basically, they say, like, uh, let's see, four letter word. So, and then I have. D I S N C, which makes disc, right? Have four of these, so it says four letter word, and I have this. 
So ah uh, uh so once you're done this you cannot you cannot like uh my house rules is but you can uh they actually kind of explained it in the rules. You can put it in any order you want as long as it makes a word and then you can do it. But S C D I it could make something else. So it doesn't make much sense to kind of swap this around like that. So I omit that rule, but and if you think it's a bit kind of stupid, then once you're done and you form the word, you kind of put uh, put these in a discard pile, and I kind of draw uh draw the cards again, kind of replace. So you got an I, which is a vowel, and three consonants S, C, and D. So you take one vowel and three consonants. Then um we have a hash of what. So basically, you choose a letter card, consonant or vowel, and then you flip open. I have, for example, L, and has an L. So you have to try and find a letter that has an L. You have to try and find a word that has an L in it. But if you don't have it, then um, sorry, but I I don't think you can do anything about it. Then there is a starts with again. Uh, and they also say word must be at least three letters long. So you have your word length must be at least three letters long, or else you won't be able to get these dash cards here. And then you got these three. Your word length must be at least three letters. You can't ha have a two-letter word. You can have a three or four, but I don't really care which one you want. Then there's also these two parts over here. Verb. Verb is a, uh, yeah, kind of action. You you have to try and find an action in your in your pile of cards. For example, my car, my cards are usually like terrible, so never mind that. Then there's a proper noun where a proper noun is a specific name that begins with a capital letter. So you can kind of like do black pink. Uh, I mean like Captain America, but. It, it, it will be way too long. So, uh, I suggest you don't uh, put such long window words. And you actually can kind of, like, arrange your cards properly. So, you know, there you have a four-letter word disc. So, you kind of put, uh, you arrange it properly before you even put it down. So, you have a disc before you even put it down. You know you can put it down when the four-letter word comes out without having to search and search and search. So arrange your cards properly. And once you're done, yes, just pack up like a... And like I said, if you have to be the quickest down. And if you form a word first, you get that dash card. So first person to five dash cards. Five dash cards wins. And pretty much it, but... Yeah, it's pretty much it. You have to get five dash cards to win. And that's the objective of the game. It's a really quick game as well. I mean, it takes about, I'd say, 15 minutes. At the most, 15 minutes. But it is overall a really nice game. So I, I like it a lot. So um, I'm going to see you guys next time. And, of course, goodbye.